to Math Facilitator. How are you all? I hope you are all doing great and you are preparing well for your examination. So here I am with one more important concept in our Zero to Hero series, Coordinate Geometry. So in my previous uh, syllabus video, I asked you whether you want exercise problems or you want important questions. So there was a mixed response. So what I did is I will teach you exercise problems with important questions okay so i will not teach you each and every exercise problem but i have picked up important questions from the exercise problems so that we can learn the concept and once we learn the concept okay in exercise problems we are going to discuss only important problems and once you learn the concept then we will move on to the previous year questions okay in that way we will complete the entire chapter in a proper way Okay, I hope this strategy would be working super fine with you and one more important information is that so sometimes I am not able to come live at 9 o'clock. So what I thought is I will in that case I will do a recording video and I'll give you the recorded video so that um, you, you can get at least one video each day because if, if I want only a live video sometimes it is uh, the timings are becoming hectic so we will try this way okay so if live is not possible we will go for recorded if live is possible we'll go for live right so let's start the session and before starting the session I want you all to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel come on so in our zero to hero series Today we are going to learn about coordinate geometry chapter distance formula. Exercise 7.1 is completely based on distance formula and AP, TS, CBSE state boards all have the same concept. So let's start it now. Yes. So now distance formula. So distance means we are going to find out the distance between two points. Okay. Suppose if you have a point. Yes. One second. Yes, if you have a point, chalo, you have a point x1, y1, okay, and there is another point x2, y2. I am taking this as point A and this as point B. So, if I just want to find the distance between these two points, say this is point A, x1, y1, this is point B, x2, y2, okay. So, the distance between these two points is nothing but AB isn't it so say this is point b so if i want to find the distance between these two points the formula which we use is under root x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square okay so this gives you the distance between the point a b right so the two points distance between these two points a b the derivation of this I will give you in a separate video, but the derivation is not going to uh, come in your examination. So no one will ask you the derivation, but there are different model of problems which will be asked depending on the single formula. So please by heart this formula, the distance between any two points is nothing but under root. This x coordinate minus this x coordinate whole square plus this y coordinate minus this y coordinate whole square okay i repeat the distance between any two points is this x coordinate minus this x coordinate whole square okay and this y coordinate minus this y coordinate whole square okay and between these two you have a plus sign right so x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square and everything is in a square root okay so using pythagoras theorem you will find this the derivation of this distance between two points but as of now let's concentrate only on the important things which you will get in your examination right so i'm skipping this derivation so now starting from the basic okay in your exercise 7.1 this is the first question which you have right so the first question is find the distance between these two points okay and this is the fourth question i picked up only the important questions from your exercise so first question is distance between you have to find the distance between two three the given points are okay given points are a two three and i'm taking this as b four one right so in your examination what you will do is immediately with pencil you will write this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 okay now what is the distance formula i gave you i told you distance between two points a b is nothing but under root x2 minus x1 okay x coordinates you will minus subtract and you'll write a square plus y coordinates also you will subtract and you'll write a square 
that's it so using this formula now you have already marked what is x2 x1 okay that is equals to see here x2 is 4 so 4 minus x1 is 2 so 4 minus 2 whole square plus y2 is 1 so 1 minus y1 is 3 1 minus 3 whole square Okay, that is equals to 4 minus 2 is 2. So, you have 2 square plus 1 minus 3. 1 minus 3 gives you minus 2 and you have a square. Okay, so this gives you 2 square is 4 plus minus 2 whole square is again 4. So, 4 plus 4 gives you 8. So, the distance between these two points is 8. 8 you can write it as 4 to the, isn't it? So, this I can write as root 4 into root 2 root 4 is nothing but 2 and I can write this as root 2 and don't forget to write this as units okay in the answer finally you will write it as 2 root 2 units you can stop your answer here also otherwise you can write it as 2 root 2 units clear with this now let's see the second it's the fourth question okay fourth bit you have to find the distance between a b and minus a minus b okay so point a b and this is minus a minus b right so distance between a b is nothing but under root again write this as x1 y1 this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 right so a b distance between these two is nothing but under root x coordinates minus so x2 minus x1 whole square plus let us subtract the y coordinates now y2 minus y1 whole square okay i will bring a uh, marathon video on the formula also once we complete these chapters let us have a marathon video on the formula also don't worry okay so x2 is minus a minus x1 is a so always i suggest you to write with pencil x1 y1 x2 y2 okay so it will avoid mistakes in your examination and now what is what is this y2 is minus b and y1 is minus of you have a minus right minus y1 is b whole square okay so now this is equals to root over minus a minus a two negatives two negatives you will add okay minus a minus a you will add and it is minus 2a okay whole square plus minus b minus b also you will add so you will get minus 2b whole square right so this becomes this becomes so this you can write it as minus 2 whole square is 4 isn't it so this is 4 a square is a plus now minus 2 whole square is again 4 you have b square right so you have 4 a square plus 4 b square now here i can take 4 as common okay let me take 4 as common let me write it here so this is equals to 4 is common from these two okay so 4 into a square plus b square okay from this i am taking 4 common so i am left over with a square from this 4 is common so i am left over with b square so this again i can write it in this way okay i can separate the root so 4 root 4 into root a square plus b square root 4 is nothing but 2 so 2 root a square plus b square units don't forget units okay so this is how you solve right chalo let's move on to the next question Find the distance between the points 0, 0 and 36, 15. Okay. What is 0, 0? What is 0, 0? 0, 0 is nothing but origin, isn't it? So, this is x-axis. This is y-axis. Yes. So, this point is called 0, 0. It is origin. Okay. And you have another point. I am taking it as A, 36, 15. Now, there is one direct formula of the distance between the origin and the point i'll write it here distance between origin and point a x y the formula is root over x square plus y square that's it distance between oa is x square plus y square if you don't remember this formula no problem at all you remember only this first formula how to write this i'll tell you okay come on so here here we have this is origin and this is a so just write again x1 y1 this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 okay so oa distance is nothing but root over x coordinate subtraction x2 minus x1 whole square plus now y coordinate subtraction y2 minus y1 whole square this is equals to root over x2 is 36 minus x1 is 0 whole square plus y2 is how much it is 15 minus y1 is 0 whole square so that is nothing but 36 square plus 15 square 36 minus 0 is 36 you have 36 square and here 15 minus 0 is 
15 you have 15 square okay so 36 square is nothing but 36 into 36 so how much will you get you will get 1296 plus 15 square is nothing but 225 now add both of them adding both of them you will get 1521 so that is equals to 39 units okay how will you find 1521 square root just see so you will just have to write 1521 and prime factorize it and see okay so 3 5 is a 15 and here you have 2 2 is not divisible so you will write a 0 here now you have 21 21 3 7 is a 21 okay now 5 0 7 we have again with 3 letters try 3 1 is a 3 you have a 2 3 2 is a 16 you have a 2 now this is 27 3 9 is a 27 let's let's try now what shall we try 169 169 so 13 13 is a 169 and 13 ones up so this 1521 1521 i can write it as 3 square 3 into 3 is 3 square multiplied by 13 into 13 is 13 square isn't it so i want root 1521 is nothing but root 3 square into 13 square so that is equals to root 3 square into root 13 square Square and square root gets cancelled in both of them. So, you have 3 into 13. 3 into 13 is nothing but 39. Got it? How to find the square root? Chalo. So, now I told you here directly the distance formula you can find between the origin and the point is x square plus y square. Isn't it? Now, come on. Let's compare here and see. Now, I took, I took the same original formula root over x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. But here also I got the same answer. Now, if you take the distance formula which I told you, OA is nothing but root x square plus y square. Isn't it? So, root x is this. Now, this origin you will ignore and this point which is given to you, you will take it as x and y. So, this is 36 square, x is 36 plus y is 15 square. See, you got the same step again. Isn't it? So, one step extra you will write, but you don't have to remember this formula. If you are able to remember this formula, very good. If you are not able to remember this formula, if there is any confusion also, just remember this one single formula. Okay? Chalo, right. So, these two questions I just started to uh, see your feedback. So, once I get your feedback, so I will do more videos like this. Okay? So, if I am able to come live, I will come live. Otherwise, I will at least give you the concept and the important questions from your textbook exercises. And then we will move on to the previous year questions right so if you found this video useful for you do like this video right now and share the channel with all your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment and let me know how are you liking my strategy and my videos thank you so much bye bye take care